Today, I'm going to tell you why I canceled my Rose Ave Scout electric bike. Coming up. Before you came round, my heart would never be much faster. Hey, what's up guys? This is Hervey from Hervey's World, showing you that IT means I try. So if you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Please subscribe. So on this channel, we do unboxings, desktop support, life hacks, actual hacking, and product reviews of great products just like this one. So we're gonna be discussing the 10 reasons why I canceled my Rosa electric bike. So let's go start about it. Now the first thing I wanna tell you is this. Now these are my reasons why I canceled. I don't want you to change your mind, but you're grown-ups or kids. But these were my reasons. Okay, so this was a Kickstarter campaign that was brought together by four friends. So around March 2016, these guys were do-it-yourselfers and they wanted to come up with a new product uh, styled in the 70s taco style taco mini bikes, the Honda ones that we used to see. And one of them, by the name of John, came up with a prototype in about three days. Now, after they saw the prototype, they were really inspired Two months later, they came up with a Kickstarter campaign and they only wanted to make a few dozen bikes, maybe a dozen bikes, and they were looking for $25,000 of funding. Well, haha on them because they struck a nerve. The retro mini bike styled e-bike was a hit. It struck a nerve and they went from wanting $25,000 to over $441,000. Talk about getting an idea right, right? So they then went and gutted their factory and revamped it in about six to seven months, produced a factory that's going to be perfect for spitting out Super 73 machines. Okay, my first issue, your products are too good. Here's what I mean. Now, if your Rosav with the high quality that it is, it looks great. The styling is great. It looks phenomenal. It rides great. You get 40 miles. Well, then your premium model is gonna be, well, premium. So, for me also, I wasn't crazy about the handlebars. But it's not the styling. It's, it's look at these arms over here. I'm really tall, so for me, Having the handlebar flare out gives me, well, a little bit more leg room. And I need more room, which is one reason why I changed, why I canceled it. The second reason why I canceled, power. God, mm, I've given her all she's got. She can't take no more. What I mean by that is, the bigger the engine, the more power you get, period. So the Rosav has a nominal 500 watt hub motor, peak power 1050, 20 miles per hour, 40 miles. Now the lithium ion battery is 48 volts, 14.5 amperage hour. Now the Super 73 2016 model has a thousand watts peak power. That's double and it's also the most powerful motor on an e-bike right now. Now the bigger the battery, it's the denser battery, it's the 15.4 amp which uses a Panasonic cell 25 miles an hour and 35 miles. Now the 2018 version is double the mileage of the old Super 73. Okay, so talk about learning from your past. They took what they did in that and they improved it in the newer model. You gotta love that. Now, it also has hydraulic brakes. So, second point, double the power. Also to that point, I went to a showroom in New York uh, and I spoke to an, uh, a salesman who rode both models. Now, he stated that he rode the Rose Ave and the Super 73 2016 model. And he said that it had more torque, naturally, 
and it was a blast to ride. Now, he said that the Rules Ave is a beautiful bike, but it's tamer, and I guess it's still fun, but it's less ballsy. So, and I saw personally, I saw the showroom bike going over 30 miles an hour. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful work, guys. Now, my third reason for canceling, timing. Now, I ordered the Rules Ave on July 15th to receive it around December. Now, I'm assuming that if you ordered a Super 73 now, that you'd probably get it in January and February because they're gonna be busy October, November, December. I mean, really busy. So guys, hope you guys get some rest, but you're, it's your fault. You made a great product, so now you gotta, you gotta deliver. But you are. And people love that, and I love that about you guys. Um, the work that you do shows the love that you have. You have the retro aspect, and it's futuristic. Talk about a perfect yin yang. The old and the new playing together. Great job. Now, for me, if I got the bike in January or February, it'd be snowing anyway. So for me, so waiting another month, I mean, it's going to be winter anyway. December, January, February, it's going to be cold. It's going to be snowing, slushy. Do you really want to ride outside? I'm not going to want to ride. So it was worth the decision that I came up with. It was worth it. Uh, so the timing was crucial for me to decide to cancel to do something. The next reason why I canceled my Rosav time now, I know what you're thinking. Only if the Rolls app is 20 miles an hour and the Super 73 is 25 miles an hour, you're only gaining like five horsepower, right? So five more horsepower at twice the money. It's crazy, right? But it's not because the true thing you're buying is time because you get to where you need to go quicker. So it's totally worth it. Do you want to spend, we're in a car. We're going somewhere 20 miles an hour, or you can get there 25 miles an hour. So it's technically going faster. You're paying to spend less time in traffic and the road. So logically for me, it was a better decision. So I get more time for myself and less time in traffic. So time is a factor. The faster you get to somewhere, the less time you're in traffic. Logic. The fifth reason why I canceled my Rose Ave was buyer's remorse. Now, it's not the way in the way that you think. Now, for me, I have a Mercedes C300 and I got it to 2007. Um, for the year, I got it almost fully loaded. So I guess the psychology is when you get in your car or when people get in your car, some people, some people, when they're looking at your dashboard and there's like the the defroster and then there's like an empty spot and then like the rear defroster and like the wipers and there's an empty spot like somewhere in the back of my mind i'm thinking well i didn't work hard enough to get a fully loaded car uh so work harder to get a fully loaded car so for me i've always wanted bluetooth in my car so C300, bear with me, my point will be clear. C300, 2007 C300, Mercedes doesn't have Bluetooth for phones. So I'm not able to put my phone into my car. I found a way to do it, but it should have came with it. But the next year's model did. Now, what I'm getting here is this, that they learned from their models, which means every model you get the year after always gets better now you'll want all the bells and whistles maybe you're going to get those buttons but the options for me i want them nevertheless i want to have all the options i can i want heated steering wheel i want air conditioned seats and dag nabbit i want bluetooth in my cars so buyer's remorse from my past had me cancel my Rose Ave. So if I'm gonna get an e-bike, for me, 
and it's got to be fully loaded. Lesson learned for me is what the lesson I learned. Okay, now I mentioned earlier, my sixth reason was the handlebars. For me, like, it's what started me on canceling my Rosav was because the handlebars, now I have really long arms, so I thought maybe I could call the guys and pay extra to get a different handlebar that flared out, but then that would be disrespectful to the premise that Jesse Wellens, great bike by the way dude, and great bike guys, but it would have changed the bike, it wouldn't have been a Rosav. Um, it would have been a different bike altogether and I didn't want to do that so and if I wasn't getting if that wasn't in the way anymore uh, and I wanted more torque and a different style well for me it was an easy decision not to get it this was not the bike for me but the Matt Black guys set it off but it wasn't for me now the seventh reason was they said, or our bearded friend at Lithium Cycle said, there's a surprise coming. <laughs> and I'm thinking, it's probably gonna be more horsepower. Kinda cool. So, I like surprises. Give me a surprise, I love that. The eighth reason why I canceled my Rose Ave is hydraulic brakes. Now, better stopping power, which means faster bike, better stopping power. It's not to say that the Rose Ave doesn't have it, it's just it's got less power and requires less stopping power. So motorcycles have hydraulic brakes, cars have hydraulic brakes. So the faster the bike, the better the braking better be. So brilliant guys, grace them awesome awesome innovation the ninth reason why I cancel my rose out now I want to I want a screen to look at I want to look at a dash a mini dash I don't want to look at a watch no offense but this kept the price down it's great it's great you're bringing the price down more people have access to your product it's beautiful it's a beautiful sentiment but can I get a screen I love a screen I love a screen well, my 10th reason why I canceled my Rose Ave is because they learned from the lessons of their past, their past bikes. You grab all that knowledge, all the hours of tooling and manufacturing and crafting and building a beautiful product and you make it better. Well, that screams to me that I have to honor them and it was a no-brainer decision for me. So you take that and you build a new classic. How, how do you say that? And that's why I upgraded to the 2018 Super 73. For me, it was a beautiful rendition. And you guys, it was, I, I purchased the Rose Ave. And I looked at the new specs and I was like, it was eating away at my brain like, oh, it's, it's, it's got more horsepower. It's double the horsepower. It's, it's got the styling you want. It has a bigger battery. And I had to do it. I called your people and you got great people over there and they helped me. Uh, funny story, by the way, on how that happened, but Love your commitment to your product, so I have no problem upgrading. Now, here's the thing. If you want a great electric bike, and you want to choose Lithium Cycle, because their bikes are the best in the industry. Not just that, but in the world. Now, you could compare apples and oranges with other bikes, and I'll throw some links right here. I'll show you guys some links, but competition there's no competition their bikes are out outpriced styling's not that good and you get great technology innovation and cool styling i mean why just get an e-bike get a cool retro styled electric bike that's kick-ass 
and you're gonna love writing. Like right now, I can see myself right now, but I got a smile right now thinking about it. So, hey, really appreciate it. Now, if you get any other bike, you're making a mistake. This bike has more bang for buck. And Lithium Cycles and Jesse Wallens created a beautiful bike in the Rose Ave. Great color, great body styling, simply a dope bike. But it wasn't for me. Like I said, look at these arms. Look at these arms. Now, Lithium Cycles. If you want to make a bike, you guys are doing a great job. I really appreciate it. I was wondering if I can get maybe some two-tone action, some blue-green action with the sun hits on my bike. If it's extra, let me know. Give a brother a call. I got some ideas. How about uh, grabbing some solar cells and putting it on your bike so you can charge your devices? I got tons of ideas. Just give me a call. So for me, it was an easy decision in saying to Lithium Cycle, hey guys, please take my money. Like I said, your products are too good. Thank you guys. Thank you for checking out this episode of Hervey's World. Like and subscribe. Now, you want a great e-bike? Get a Rose Ave or get a Super 73. Peace. Hey, by the way, I'm gonna be throwing some links to the campaign. So I'm gonna put some links to the Lithium Cycle homepage. And also I wanna thank you guys at Lithium Cycle. I use a couple of your pictures, so I'm giving them credit for that. But I'm gonna throw the campaign link to the new Super 73. You can pre-order it now. If you order it now, you'll probably get it around January, February. But you wanna great, you'll be helping the world by lowering your carbon footprint and using an electric vehicle to take yourself to work. And it's cool. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Hey guys, one more thing. Now, they have three models, okay? They have the Scout, which goes for um, $9.95. They have the Rose Ave, which goes for $13.95. And then they have the Super 73, which goes for $3,200. Now, you're going, the lesser model has 18 miles an hour, the Rose Ave has 20 miles per hour, and the Super 73 has 25 plus miles per hour. So, just wanted to include that. I will throw some links in the description. You can get it on their campaign pages. They have Facebook, YouTube, they have Instagram. So, make sure you like and subscribe to them, but also to me. Thanks for checking out this review. Actually, it's not a review yet, so these are my thoughts. When I get the bike, I'll be doing a full review, and uh, catch you guys in the next one.